for today's cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. It's Christmas Eve. It is Christmas Eve. 2023. What a year. Yes. Oh, hey. Yeah. <laughs> and that's okay because it, it's a matter of this is celebrated as one of the most magical nights of the year by millions, if not billions. It is. For various and sundry, you know, whether they be secular or whether they be believers in Christ. And it can be, it's choice whether you allow the night to be magical or not. Mm -hmm. That's true of every day. It is. And I think it's, and I'm like, hmm, I don't want to get into a sermon on this. And I'm not going to get into a sermon on this. That was another channel that I once had. <laughs> I let that one go. But within this, as far as scripture of the angels, now there's, you talk about some supernatural, everything, it's supernatural. You know, that's funny that you brought that up with the angels and the supernatural. Because I, I was about to make a TikTok and I deleted it. Or I, it was earlier today. And I deleted it because I was like, yeah, no, I'm not going to post this. But literally, I was being like, if you're a church person, if you say that you're a believer in God and simultaneously discount the supernatural and don't believe in the supernatural, then you're discounting God because yeah. God is supernatural. Yes. What about angels, too? Right. They're supernatural. Well, and it's interesting. The whole thing on that, that could be many cups worth there could be many pots i'm worth. still sick i'm sorry he is this is this is his sort of return but in scripture uh as far as the uh, luke 2 13 and 14 and it says suddenly a large army of angels appeared with the angel and they were praising god and saying and this is god's words translation because I'll, I'll get to that here in a minute Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those who have his good will. Now, a lot of times people hear this translated as good will to men. Mm -hmm. And that's actually not what it says. <laughs> I, mean, I was shocked when I found out that that was not the actual scripture. What is and, the actual scripture? Well, it's in Greek, which I don't read greek i'm doing well to read the english yeah but i actually took a semester of latin because i had really poor judgment i was having really poor judgment about many things during that period of time in life and the latin professor he was a brilliant man i think it was either dr morris or dr morrison i think it was morris was his last name chain smoked because it was still it was the late 80s <laughs> And he could do that. And <coughs> so <coughs> there I was in class with my Aussie t-shirt on, my skull earring, my white stripe bleached in the back of my hair with all the seminary students. Those were the ones, the, the kids that were going to be pastors. Mm. So one of these things was not like the others. <laughs> And so that was when I found out. I, I did. I practiced. I studied the Latin. I found out that I do not have something in my brain is not geared quite right to remember mm -hmm. languages. Sort of like math. The, the brain is not geared towards those things. But he was discussing this passage. Because like I said, he could read Greek and Hebrew and Aramaic and Latin and God knows what else. He was, I, th I think he, he was very well renowned. <clears throat> so this was, like I said, this was back when, when the college I attended had really, really, really good professors. Mm -hmm. And you came out with a really, really good education. Yeah. It was not one of these that you sign up and they automatically pass you. No. Yeah. You work for it. You do. And so he was just sitting up there one time and he's like, that's not what it says. It says peace on earth to men of good will. And that was an epiphany for me. 
because there is a vast difference between goodwill toward men and goodwill or peace to men of goodwill. Mm -hmm. And we can see this in our world today. Okay, if you've got, if you are somebody with good intentions, that you want to help others, that you want to make a positive change in the world, then yes, peace can be yours. But if your intent is not of goodwill towards others, why should you have peace in your, in your, within yourself? Yeah. That's inner turmoil right there. It is. And that's what we're seeing in 2023. We have seen so much inner turmoil. And you've got so many people that they're wounded and hurting people hurt others. That does not excuse their behavior at all, yeah. ever. But it's a matter of how do we help them heal? You cannot heal someone who does not want to be healed. That's something I was talking to my brother about it's like how how do you heal this how do you heal these wounds this trauma it starts with self it starts from within yep you and that's where yourself first yeah then. gandhi said be the change you want to see in the world you know and i have no problem talking about gandhi even as as far as with in this context no there's None. a lot of good teachings within that there's many wonderful teachers that have been sent yeah you know and it's a matter of comparing and contrasting and sitting there going oh okay yeah this is this is very similar that's the reason as far as like the stoics very much go right along with what christ said they did not live how he told people to live that's where you get the difference on that. If Christ said something, you know, if God said don't do something, it's because it's going to hurt you or somebody else. It's yep. not that hard. And people, there are some people that they could complicate an ice cube. Yeah. Yep. And even as far as I was looking for some kind of artwork to go as far as the angels now you had one angel that started out and then there was a host which meant many in the skies appearing to these shepherds mm -hmm. and it says they were sore afraid yes because anybody that you've ever heard that have that has had an angel encounter not the ones that looked like that were disguised as people because they can do that but as far as a true angelic being they are not depicted accurately in artwork. I don't know who started this feminization of, of these beings, but no, that's very erroneous. Go back in scripture where it was one angel that slew thousands. One. Yep. So it's interesting. And like I said, this is one of these deep dives that you could go into, which we're not tonight. Yeah, it's Christmas Eve. It is Christmas Eve. And it's not about going and doing a dissertation on that. Do that on your own time. Just appreciate, as far as the collective, that this is supposed to be a time of goodwill towards others. Charity. Humility. You know, to humble yourself. To sit there and say, I'm sorry. This is from astrologically, this is supposed to be a really good time to make amends with family members and stuff. Don't go to no, if you are going to have like dinner with your family or something like that, do not go with the intention of that you're going to set them straight and that, that you're going to give them a piece of your mind. If you've got that attitude, stay home. Don't ruin it for other people. Yep. A little bit of self-reflection. Mm -hmm. and just the the magic of being together with loved ones having a meal what more does anybody want right 
being able to talk to each other, laugh with each other. And, and also to say a prayer and lift up those that don't have that. And I don't want this to be a downer, but my heart has been heavy for days because I've seen so many. And I don't understand how other people don't see them. But I, we will lift them up. Mm-hmm. And, and don't forget the ones that are in prison. Nope. Because those are the forgotten ones. Those people have stories we're not supposed to judge because we don't know their story. We don't. That is something that doesn't excuse their behavior. That doesn't mean we don't need jails and prisons. That means you pray for these people. You know. Absolutely. I know that there there has been a trend for quite a few years now that people, instead of exchanging gifts uh, with each other, that they give to charities. Some of these charities are questionable. So if you know individuals that you can take and do for that's always a good thing yeah and and so keep this night separate which is what the word sacred means to allow it to pass on that tradition of the of the magic and the mystery and different things like that Mm -hmm. and that joy and that is something that the world is trying to take that magic and that joy away from children right now. And that pisses me off. Yeah. Yeah. There's a video of this woman who got this really brightly colored Christmas tree toy for their children. And then painted it in these dulled colors. And I'm like, hmm, that's a, that's a way to make your child hate, hate that toy. Hey, mm-hmm. Christmas, that's a way to stunt their development. Because well, children is. go off bright colors. Sure, they need that. Is she a sad beige mom? That's what she was titled after that video. But the thing is, did she buy the toy for herself or for her child? Apparently for herself, because she was the one that messed it up. And, and again, with the gifts of creativity, do not give small children electronic devices. Please, please, please. Do not. Because that is doing something not good to the brains. Sit down and well experience well, that that when a kid unwraps something and anybody who buys expensive gifts for a two or three year old, you've deluded yourself because give them the gift of a box because within that box they have anything and everything. Mm-hmm. They can have a race car. They can have a spaceship. They can have uh, a house. They can have a cave. They can, yeah. There's a lot of things you can do with a box. Kids and cats love boxes. They're magical. Mm-hmm. It's like that episode from SpongeBob where SpongeBob and Patrick were mm-hmm. just having fun with their imagination in that giant TV box. Absolutely. And Squidward's out there being like, these idiots. Because mm-hmm. he does not have that creativity. He didn't have the magic, and he was jealous. That was the whole thing. He did about not have Squidward. that imagination. Godfather, he was such a jealous-hearted little squid, envious, sad, bitter person. Mm-hmm. We got enough of those. Don't be one of those today. Yep. Get down in the floor on kid level and play with them. Don't yeah. be dressed in all your finery. Don't be sitting there if you've got all this stuff and you've got children coming to your house and if they spill something, uh uh-uh. No. Yeah, don't get on to them if they spill something. No. Don't get on to the old people if they spill something either. Now if they if they if they start and stuff with other people, including the adults. If the adults are starting <laughs> stuff with other people, you can be like, uh uh-uh, uh, we ain't doing that. Right. We ain't doing that. Right. Don't bite into it. If somebody starts something like that, uh uh. You can sit there and go, thank you for coming. Here's the door. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That or it's, it's okay to not invite somebody. Literally, it's it's perfectly fine. To, to have... sit there and send them a car and go, hmm, yeah, sweet. We knew that you w- wouldn't be happy with our gathering. So here's here's a gift card for, you know, and get you a coffee. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I got that I'm going to give dad for oh. Christmas? Guitar book. Okay. 
I'm going to give him a giant guitar book. Well, that'll be cool. He'll and, appreciate that. And maybe a Smuppet. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. He's already a very accomplished guitarist, he but is, I'm but sure that a, he would appreciate the book. Yeah. He, you can always learn new things. Mm-hmm. Because I, I ain't going to get any use out of it, and I know he like he would like it a lot more than I do. Well, so. there you go. There you go. And And it's just... Like I said, let this be a day of magic, a night of magic, that supernatural paranormal, which is all around us, and and just pray that our eyes will be open so that we can see what is already there. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Kid, final thoughts? It was good to have you on this one. Mm-hmm. I'm glad that I was actually feeling up to, you know, doing it. <sighs> Use this as a time to thank God. Use this as a time to be grateful that your family's still there with you. Mm -hmm. We don't have the promise of tomorrow. It's not a time to get on to them over stupid, petty bullshit. Right. It's a time just to enjoy each other's company. Yeah. It is about joy. Mm Mm-hmm. And for some people, this is one of the few times that they will even think about God. Even the ones who are hating on him, they're still thinking about him. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just like, it doesn't matter. He he is. They hate on him, but that doesn't mean they don't believe. The thing is, they hate on him, but he still loves them. You have to believe. The, The people that say that they don't believe in God... And that they hate him. You have to believe in something to hate it. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, they can hate him, but he doesn't hate them. Exactly. He's an all-loving, merciful God. But he's still got rules. Like any Uh, good parent, any parent has rules. Well, yeah. Yeah. He gave us a whole rule book. Mm Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. It's it's not that hard. It is not that hard. If you've had experiences with paranormal or supernatural encounters with UFOs, aliens, cryptids, if you would like to share some of your favorite Christmas Eve memories, that would be great. You can uh, send us an email, cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com. That's mm-hmm. in the description box. Or just go ahead and share them with everybody in the, in the comments. That's always fun. Yes. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and most of all, subscribe and click that notification button for daily notifications for our daily uploads. And if y'all want to share some of your, like, Christmas stories with us, feel free to. Yeah. We would like to hear them. I would like to hear some of them. Oh, yeah. They're great. They're really, really great. I want to hear some of the funny ones. (laughs) Know that you are very loved. Yeah. And Lord willing, we'll see you on the next cut. Uh Uh-huh. Bye. Bye.